<laughs> Hi guys. You go. Oh. So Jack went to camp last week, science camp, and he came home with a hermit crab. Funny story. They were allowing you to win your hermit crabs. You guess a number. I guessed the right number out of, th and I was one of three children to win a hermit crab. And then also it got you know we haven't got been able to get him a proper tank because um. Hermit crabs require a surprising amount of care. Go. Yeah. This tank has a lot of cardboard on it, so operation one: get cardboard off tank. Twenty-nine gallon tank, still not as big as our seventy-seven pound pit lab. That's awful. So we got the stand for the tank in. Mommy's feeling tired. <laughs> so we got the stand in. We got the stand in. We did. Woohoo! Moving the plugs around now. Now I gotta clean it. Yay! Time lapse time. Hey guys, hey guys, we're about to get the tank. Awesome. <laughs> Let's do it. We got the tank in. Yay. So this whole video, we've been talking about Hermie the Hermit Crab. And you haven't even met him yet. Okay, so time to meet Hermie the Hermit Crab. So let's open the box up. Okay. Very coffee. He's a purple pincher. Pick it out with these. Uh huh. So here we have our tank set up, and then we have our sand, and we have playground sand. It's important to have playground sand because that's cleaner sand. Um, and we have some eco earth, which is really cool. It's actually these little brick here things little bricks and you put them in like four quarts of water a gallon of water and they turn into this so what we are gonna do right now we're gonna measure in five scoops of sand one scoop of eco earth and we're gonna keep going okay Jack is stirring and as you can see we do not have enough in there because the tank should be halfway full so tomorrow we need to go get some more sand. Fortunately a 15 bag, 50 pound bag is only like two bucks. Okay. And super heavy. <laughs> but fortunate that it's cheap right? Yep. All right we'll check in later. Bye. Today is the day. We're gonna put Hermie in his crap tag. His, his, that is too wet in there, so he could die. So we gotta move him, like dig him. So please welcome our guest, Juliet. Say hi. Hi. Hey, Juliet. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Let's go get her. Goodbye. Let's go. Okay, so her Hermie has been in this for a while. There's a heating bed there to keep him warm. He was only supposed to be in there for a couple of days, but he dug down into the into the um, eco earth, and so we were afraid, and um, so we thought he might be molting. And you're not supposed to move a hermit crab when they're molting. However, there's the earth is too damp, and it could pose uh, risks to him. So we consulted people who know hermit crabs better than we do, and they suggested this way to move him. Okay, so we need to remove this stuff from the crab attack. Move it all? Yeah, you can throw that away. All right, so we are supposed to start at one side and dig half an inch 
and move all the way across until we find the crab. Now I'm pretty sure that he's in this area right here. See him? How do you know he's right there? Because we saw him one night under the cup in that area. Yeah, we saw him go down here. Oh, I'm so scared. I hope he's okay down there. <laughs> Oh, there's his tunnel. I found him. Where? He's right in here. There he is. Right there. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Are you okay, Jack? Is he alive? I hope so. He's definitely gonna start crying, so. Wait, cross, are you crossing your fingers right now? Don't cross both, don't cross both. Is he alive? I don't know. <gasps> oh, I just saw him wiggle. So it said, use a spoon to get him out. They come up on the shell. And it said use the spoon. Moving. Okay. He's alive. <laughs> now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna double check and make sure he doesn't have an exoskeleton in here. Because if he went down there to molt, he would have an exoskeleton here and he needs to eat that. What? Yeah, because it, it's super healthy for him. Um, yeah, I do not see disturbing. an exoskeleton. That's disturbing. I really disturbing. Don't see an exoskeleton in you here. So we're free and clear there. So the next thing we need to do, carry him in. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a cap full of treated water in there. We're going to leave him there? Yep, he's going to stay in here for a little bit. For how long? For a few days, see how he's doing. Make sure he's okay. We're also going to put some healing foods in there. Um, healing foods include dry leaves, so we'll get some dry leaves from outside, and um, some eggshell and some raw eggs. So we're going to put those things in there with him. We're going to put the lid with holes punched on it. Normally hermit crabs don't need holes punched in their tanks, but if they're in an isolation container like this, they do. Alrighty, there's Hermie and we put him in his little isolation container in his crab attack. Um, and we'll check back in a couple of days to let you know how he's doing. Bye! Hermie decided he had had enough of isolation, so I gave him a ramp out of there, but um, he's exploring alternative ways out.